Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters of the Week video. Alright, I thought I would have mixed one of these in here while I'm continuing with your Mysteries and Oddities video. I'm going to wrap up that series soon, so be on the lookout for maybe one or two more videos along that line. This particular random page entry there on the cryptids.wikia.com page brings up yet another fascinating cryptid, one that once again involves a mixture of two animals. So that has followed a lot of themes with some of my past videos and this is a creature that is considered pretty deadly pretty venomous and it's pretty rare to encounter this creature but if you're in the South African area still who knows you might have a good chance of coming across this cryptid it's also been misinterpreted at least some theories as far as what this animal is made up of and I'll explain more of that here in a minute and some of it does make sense in the end but it has to do with this it's known as the cryptid of das adder so let's go ahead and let's talk about all the fascinating info associated with this mishmash of animals so what is this das adder well again you have to go to south africa particularly to an area known as Drakensberg's range to be able to find this creature uh, you're looking in fact some pictures here of that area even the area itself seems to be a mixture of various types of, of land features. You'll see how there's some lush green landscape in one area and yet within the same location further on down the line it almost looks like it's a desert cavern type area as well. Perfect mixture it seems like for this creature. As far as its characteristics it's this. Uh, from far away it looks like your average snake. In fact it has the hallmarks of a snake involving a long serpent-like body uh, little pop marks, little streaks, little camouflage like marks on its body as well that's considered almost scaly too. Um, it almost seems to be the length of a snake too. Not, not, not necessarily too large but not too small either. The biggest difference though is this. Whenever you go to its head, it's not the, it's not the uh, actual head of a snake. Instead, it's of a creature, a small animal uh, known as a rock Hyrex, which you're looking at a picture of here. A rock hydrex is almost like a small badger of sorts. So imagine if you take that particular animal, which again is found in that area, this rock hyrex, if you take its head and then mix it with something else involving like your average snake, then that's what you have here. And that's essentially what this creature has been described as by various locals there. In fact, some of the known sightings state as well that whenever they come across it, they also seem to see those extravagant stripes and then they also hear, I guess it emits some kind of sound, something along like a rattle or something there that makes its presence known. They, the locals there are very, very wise to stay away from this because whatever that head is, whatever it's made up of, even if it's of another animal, in this case of a rock's hyrex, it is considered very, very venomous. Whenever it bites, you do not want to be within, like, let's say, a long distance away of a hospital because there's very little chance that you can make it afterward. But what else makes it a very fearful animal is this. Such is the head, the power of it, whenever it looks at you, it apparently can hypnotize you right then and there. I have no idea how that works. I have no notion like how it's able to do that, let's say from either far away or from close up. But still, the, the idea is if you look at it, it's supposed to hypnotize you and then you're simply just it like you're you're stuck in that situation and who knows what will happen after it doesn't even take effort it'll just look at you just barely glance at you and you are already hypnotized so this is definitely a creature that maybe you could admire from far away but you don't want to mess with it at least up front probably it's best to stay away from this creature at all like just don't even mess around with it and as far as its locations there again pretty rare um, as for if you come across it then it's good to run away but still uh, that's at least its particular aspects there was an interesting encounter within a uh, journal known as Empire Review there was a gentleman there by the name of W L Spite and he's the one that probably created the most detailed account of this creature he's the one that notated its special marks that it has on its body the fact that it's considered very very venomous and also it seems to have this unique unique trait involving these ear-like openings that fold upwards and downwards 
upon its head, almost as if described like it was more on the lines of a crest. That would have been pretty fascinating to see, almost royal-like, whenever you see a creature do something along those lines. And then that's where, again, it described its size as being around smallish, maybe about two feet in length or so. Now, as far as the misinterpretations associated with this creature, it's this. People are stating that it could just be a misidentified creature looked from far away that looks like something else entirely different. There's the idea that yes, it is actually a rock hydrix, but the fact that people can't see, like let's say the rock hydrix legs if they're tucked underneath it, or if it's behind some kind of boulders wedged within some kind of landmark, something that hides its body, it makes it look like it's almost serpent-like. And so when that happens, then that's when um, um, they, they think that it's this, that it's this particular das adder. Another notion is that it's considered also a Cape Rock Monitor, which you're looking at a picture of here. Apparently, this creature is also located in that area, but still, whenever it slips between rocks and then it doesn't have its legs seen, then that's when people state that it could be misidentified as well as a Das Adder. And who knows? It may just be an entirely new species of snake, something else altogether that could be, in this case, the Das Adder itself or another subspecies of snake, but the way people see things from far away, maybe even the heat there starts to play some form of, of, a, of a mirage, a false sense of imagery, and when that happens, people uh, think that it's a Das Adder, but it's in fact something else, like a completely new different species of snake. There's also that particular stance as well. But nothing else really to, uh, to talk about uh, here, other than this is a dangerous creature, Located there in South Africa, but it seems to just stay on its own. Doesn't really seem to hunt people. Doesn't seem to be a danger to people unless something comes around its surroundings. But if anybody has any more info, anything else I might have missed, please post those comments below. The only other thing to mention is that uh, one last thing. There was a zoologist who apparently set up some kind of hunt or some kind of campaign to try to have this specimen captured, brought forth. I don't know if it was dead or alive, if that was the idea, but at least it would be brought to a museum. But unfortunately, all this time, all this search that was that was done for it uh, ended up with no results. The creature remains pretty elusive. However well it camouflages itself, however well it's able to stay away from humans, um, then, and then it was pretty hard to capture, and that's why nobody was able to do so. I could totally imagine that this thing, just at the mere sight, like let's say it can use its body to detect whenever there's footsteps nearby, all it has to do is just slither away to some little crevice underneath some rock and we'll never know it's there. I imagine it's more along that lines where it's definitely a flight factor with this creature rather than a fight, and that way it'll stay alive as long as it can, which makes sense when you consider, again, that's how most snakes are as well. Well, they'd much rather stay hidden and then uh, attack at a very, very last resort as opposed to um, going the other way around. But that's it. If anyone has any more info, anything else on a miss, please post those comments below. All right, everyone. Thanks again as always. Take care.